Hi, my name is Jeff, and this is my K Pod 2011 Teardrop Camper. Let's uh, gonna take you for a quick tour through this. So, let me start at the front. Uh, we've got a, a standard hitch that has a lock on the front, a uh, standard 7 pin plug, a uh, little level to know if you're actually level on the when you set up your caravan. solar regulator and it also has got a 600 watt inverter it's got uh, 260 amp hour batteries uh, so there are actually two 6 volt ones that are at 260 amp hours right it also has a uh, satellite dish which is hooked up to a free view decoder we have a, uh, a quick assemble uh, warning, which we'll show you later. Then we have the main door that accesses us into the teardrop. So let's go inside and have a look. Up here we have the TV. If I push that button, it pops down. I Turn the power on, and then it's just a matter of turning on the uh, Freeview tuner, and then we should see the strong comes up. And hey presto, there's TV1. Hopefully you can see that picture well. Maybe we'll just come in a bit. And there we are. Alright, so uh, there's plenty of uh, storage here, just uh, one last feature I forgot was the battery cutoff switch, uh, which will actually cut the battery off. Uh, underneath here we have storage, so we have two cubbies in here, and uh, this is part of the floor that will form the bed, and this is a sliding support, which we'll show you later. On the other side, we have a pull-out drawer. Uh, clips back in place and there's also storage under here where we've got the spare table the outside awning uh, that goes over the kitchen and the side walls and there's actually further storage down behind the back here too as well here we have uh, the uh, storage for your clothes which stores into these compartments here this also passes through to the kitchen, which we'll show you shortly. Uh, it's got a couple of lights here. One over here, one over here. Uh, over here we've got the uh, battery monitor, which is telling us how many amps we're actually charging on the solar, which is uh, two and a half amps. It's fully charged at 260 amp hours, 100%, and the current voltage is 14.5. Here's the adjustment for the uh, dish that can be wound down and then rotated around. Okay, so the table, which we saw was stored underneath there, just comes out, it has three screws, you just unscrew those place that into here put the three screws in and hey presto we have a table so you just put the three screws in and hey presto we have a table 
and we can sit here it can be raining outside and you're in your fully enclosed one-piece fiberglass uh, contained k-pod bon appetit all right so uh, outside here we have a, a picnic table and storage area uh, this is lockable this just clicks up in place uh, under here we have our um, power which is connected to the uh, converter and uh, for online power as well the sink everything's been plumbed for self-containment it did actually have self-containment there's even enough spare room to put a 12 pack of beer in there so plenty of storage and the tabletop is nice and firm you can prepare your meal on or well, we often just used to put our dishes out here when we wash them to dry as I said it can go back and lock back we come around to the back and here we go into the kitchen we have two little lockable padlocks that just uh, click into the latches so in here we have a uh, tea and coffee area we have the area that takes us through into the main sitting and sleeping area we have uh, our own lighting which can be changed from white to green to blue to purple yellow and red Mainly red and white are the colours that I use. It can be dimmed and everything. You can even have a uh, disco mode if you really want to. But uh, let's just get back to the plain white. And here we have our sink and cooker. We have a two burner cooktop and a cold water sink. Um, and that's got a plug and everything again it can just fold down and give you an amazing amount of preparation area in the underneath that we have a fully operational 240 volt 12 volt Engel 40 liter fridge with a little ice box and a couple of shelves enough capacity to take a big two litre of milk and then we have all the storage where we put all our pots and uh, plates and everything and even some extra food and a slide out pantry this just uh, stays back with a little mechanical a little magnetic latch around the side here we have another cabinet which we can open up and uh, you can see access for the fridge uh, a second connection if you want it for the satellite to put another TV in and a fire extinguisher It also has self leveling legs that flip down and lock in place one on this side One on this side uh, LED lights across the back uh, as you can see it did have self-containment but under the change of the laws uh, it could only get self-containment for one person now uh, this is your waste with its valve on we have a portable waste tank this is your fill for the onboard water tank which is 40 litres and the waste tank that comes with it again is 40 litres too as well so that just about wraps it up we've got a little handy towel holder here and uh, there we have it all right so uh, we've also got a permanently mounted awning that's very quick to put up one zip across the top two velcros that hold it in place and then it's just a matter of unrolling it out
and two legs drop down. And then it's just a matter of twisting these legs. One side and the other. And then two other legs are kicked up in here. That actually gives the whole thing a bit more tension. So this will make the whole thing determine right up, twist in place. Three Velcros on the side. Over okay, two legs. And then it's just a matter of uh, taking the buttons out on this one. And clicking this one in place. And again, Velcroing the three slot Velcros on that one. Two. Three. And then these can just be adjusted up and they can be put down. And even in windy palmy, we can still put it up just like that. And it's self-supporting. You can just tie just a couple of ropes here where you can just hook on some guide ropes and tie down. You can even peg these into the ground and they've got little pins in to drive them into the ground as well. But it's made for quickly putting up and quickly taking away. I don't know why that's happening. Alright, so we've got the uh, waste tank which uh, when we're travelling it just fits nicely in the front and just gets strapped on in the front there. We bring it out, pull it down, click in the fitting, and then fit this into this end here. Again, this has all been designed to comply with self-containment, cam lock fittings, locked in place, open the valve, open the valve and your water runs through and there's a vent for that and we normally store that underneath here, you can move this in around wherever you want to and get it out of the way. It's that quick and easy. Now we also have under here is our 40 litre tank with a drain and the water pump which is pressure switched so when you open up the tank the water pump comes on. Uh, we also have in here a water pump on off switch and there we have it all done this could be yours